everyone today i will show you how to create an xrd graph in origin the graph will look like this at the end of the video here i have two theta values in the x column whereas five different samples and on the five different y columns convert these values into normalized form select all of the columns right click and then here you will see an option which says normalize select this one a box will open here you will see a normalization method which can be from 0 to 100 or other as well to choose 0 to 100 make sure the output is chosen as new and then press ok in this way five different columns five more columns are generated the values are normalized the minimum is given the value 0 and the maximum is given the value 100 now select this 2 theta column then press control button from the keyboard hold it and then select all of these values you can choose the line plot from here or you can go to the plot option and then go to the 2d option here you will see line click on this one and it will open a graph window click anywhere on the axis this small window will pop up here you will see layer frame select this one then go to this alpha button double select this one select all of the text and here insert intensity with the option arbitrary unit then select insert two and then open the bracket then right click on this text box here you will see option insert here you will see the option symbol map select this one and go to the option math here you will see the theta sign select this one and press insert now close this window and close the bracket now select this y-axis double click on this one a window will open go to this option which says scale in the vertical choose from minus 10 to 700 you can choose as per your data if it is not trading well later on in the video then go with this line and tricks option choose major as none and similarly minor also as none then go to the scale option again this time select horizontal choose from 5 to 12 from 5 to 70 and press ok so single click on this y-axis and press delete button from the keyboard select this one make it as bold and increase the size to 26 similarly make it as bold and increase the size to 26 now move this window to the side of the graph and make it small now double click within the graph a window will pop up go to the stack option choose individual and make sure this y is marked true and then press ok now select any of the layer this small window will pop up and increase the size to 2 now select layers one by one and drag it to the top after this now choose which one to label your data go to the insert option go to the straight line option and then click open dialog in this graph i want to show my data on different values select 18 select this 18 and press delete select this line go to this option and make the line as dot select the width and make it as 2 now move the line freely where you want to show your peaks now select this line press ctrl c and ctrl v from the keyboard copy the line this line will be copied now drag it and move it to each of the peak do this for as many peak as you want to show in your data now go to the text option bring the cursor to the top of the line now right click again go to the insert option and go to the symbol map again here go to the advanced options and you have number of different symbols which you want which you can display choose whatever you want i will choose few of them such as this one select the sample and increase the size to 30 from this window now select the sample press ctrl c and ctrl v and bring this sample to the top of each peak now double click on this symbol select symbol map go to the advanced option again choose another symbol for example this one press insert and this symbol is chosen I will do the same for the rest of the symbols now select the symbol you see here this font color 
select this one and choose the colors whatever you want to give to your samples in this way all of your symbols will be marked with different colors adjust them if they are a bit away from the peak so select all of these samples by just clicking on one symbol and then holding on the control button from the keyboard and selecting all of them press ctrl c and then ctrl v in this way these samples will be copied or drag it to the side of the graph in a vertical position after these symbols are placed on one side you see here there is a text option select this one the spectra with its line when it's done select this one and then then select the symbol and then choose this bold option now copy this text and then press ctrl c and ctrl v and bring this text to the top of each layer now give all of these spectra its respective name press this place this text to the side of the graph to look professional now select now select the text box again click on front of this symbol and then give the name after giving the name select this text and then make it bold again now copy this one and press ctrl c and ctrl b with the keyboard in this way the text will be copied and then place in front of each of the symbol now change the name accordingly if you want to give a subscript select the values and here you see the option subscript select it now select this legend and press delete button it will be removed in this way your graph will be generated right click on the graph you see here the option copy select this copy graph as image a window will pop up choose the option as 600 which is a good resolution and then press copy open the word file right click and then paste it here in this way your graph will be transported to the word file i hope you like this video